What's going on YouTube? This is your boy Real Gamer 27 and uh, first of all I want to uh, thank you for joining my channel and um, and I also want to apologize for my sound quality and like I said in my other video the other day my speaker will get here in uh, either between Monday and Thursday of this coming up week. So anyway I want to get to the um, the DLC you know that's coming in November for Mario Kart 8 and um you know what i my, my thoughts about it you know i i love it i think it's a, it's a good idea you know why, why not try to you know put some extra content to your most popular franchise on your system that's a really good idea and plus they made it really cheap too you know honestly for all that content that they put you know on that mario kart 8 you know that's coming out uh this november with all that content if you want to compare that to the DLC on a Microsoft system or on a Sony system, I guarantee you'll be paying about maybe thirty dollars or more. I'm just being honest, because basically you paying, you know, twelve dollars for six courses, um, not six courses, uh, sixteen courses, uh, six new characters and eight new vehicles, and I think there's something else too. I, I forgot. It might might be something else or maybe not, but you know, anyway, I just think it's a hell of a deal. It's a steal if you ask me, you know. And like I say, whenever that that pack do come out, I am I'm on it. I am on it, cause you know I love Mario Kart 8. I really love. It. It's it's a really good game to enjoy, you know. You know, with your friends, with your family. It's just it's really fun, you know. And um, <clears throat> you know that's why I uh, respect Nintendo so much because uh, every time they put extra content into their games. You know they give you a lot they give you a lot of content for a cheap price you know just like with the Bayonetta 2 that's coming out in October uh, I believe the release day is October 24th of all that content that they put in that game for $60 plus DLC you know you get two games for the price of one you know they enhanced the uh, uh, first Bayonetta and plus you get um, you know customized costumes you know on the first Bayonetta they uh, like I said, they enhanced the graphics. They enhanced. I, I believe it's running. They running that game at um, 60 frames per second, 1080p, and all that. And um, like I say, it's, I'm I'm very excited about that game that's coming out in October. And I, I'm, it's a day one purchase for me. You know, like I said, you know stuff like that. What Nintendo, you know, does to their fr franchises, where they, where they how they treat their customers, they treat them the right way. They treat them the right way. You know, that's why I'm a Nintendo fan. At heart, not a fanboy, a fan. If I was a fanboy, I wouldn't own a Xbox 360 and an Xbox One right now because I do currently own those systems. But my console of choice, my first console, will always be the Wii U because I enjoy it so much. I and, and no, I'm not a kid. I'm 30 years old, and uh, like I say, they have, um, like I say, they have more. I won't say they have more mature titles. But you know, uh, well they they got a they got quite few of mature titles on the Wii U. You know, probably don't got as much as a Xbox One or the, or the PS4. But it still has mature titles. You know, stop labeling uh, Nintendo as a kiddie system because they got a lot of titles that really kids came to play or came to understand. You know, for as like Pikmin, like that game is kind of hard. I, I I pretty much doubt that a five year old can can play that game. Cause it takes a lot of strategy to even get through that game. Cause I had a hard time, but I, I ain't trying to get on to the whole, you know, the situation with people talking about Nintendo is a kid station. You know, I, I you know, I, I hear all those jokes talking about kid Tendo and all that. I ain't got time to get into all that. My whole su my whole subject, my whole point is the whole DLC comparisons uh, versus the third party comparisons. That's the main reason why third party won't uh, Nintendo to fail because third party feel that. Nintendo is cutting in on their profits. That's, that's just what it is. You know, they probably make a few games for Nintendo, gimp the ports, and all of a sudden, you know, they acting surprised, you know, wouldn't know why their game's not selling. It's easy. You know, it's easy. It's gimped, you know. It doesn't take a rocket scientist to figure it out. You know, it's coming from a 360 on them. I, I saw, like I say, I have an Assassin's Creed 4 on my 360 and my Wii U. I see it, and like I say, they still want to make excuses after excuses. And if Ubisoft, if they wanted, uh, if they wanted Nintendo to sell a lot of their games, 
then basically they would have, you know, send us some screenshots of watchdogs. They would have gave us a release date or they would have, you know, just give us some type of information about the game. But with all these staff, you know, uh, lunches, that's not, that's not going to do, that's, that's not, that's not helping the situation at all. But that's what a lot of, some of these, these third parties do. They want to make these stealth lunches on the Wii U system and complain about it, you know, complain about why their system, you know, why their game's not selling well. Duh, it's stealth. You're not letting us Nintendo fans know when the game is coming out. And you're not giving us no kind of information about the game. So, duh, damn. God damn, even my three-year-old son can figure that out. But, like I say, these third-party guys, they just, uh, it's just an excuse, man. It's just an excuse to find a way out. That's all they're doing. They're trying to find their exit away from the Nintendo platform. That's all they're trying to do. You know, but, you know, like I, like I say, you know, I, I have a lot of stuff, you know, I want to talk about, you know, uh, concerning third parties in Nintendo, but... I'm at the, you know, um, probably choose another day to talk about that because I could go on and on and on about that, you know. But anyway, you know, anyway, um, with the whole entire DLC, I just, I just think Nintendo is finding, they, they, they come in, in the groove. They, they find the momentum. The momentum that they've been seeking for for a long time is finally coming. No longer the Wii U will be selling under 30,000 units a week for the rest of this generation i guarantee that it's just too much hype it's just too much hype too many games that's coming out you know you know too many announcements it's a lot of stuff positive that's going on with nintendo right now so all y'all naysayers all y'all trolls just just let it go man just leave it alone leave it alone man go enjoy your game go enjoy your your 360 or ps3 or your xbox one or your ps4 and just leave nintendo fans alone just leave us alone. That's all I'm asking. But anyway, that's all the news I got for you today. Uh, like, comment, subscribe, and uh, tell me how you feel about this video. I appreciate it. Have a good day.